I am here with Joey Sly talking about Virginia Tech football. So Joey, you and the entire VT football team had an incredible season last year. How are you guys preparing to make this one even better? Um, just the same preparation that we had last year. Coach Fuente is a, a great leader uh, through the coaching staff and he, he exemplifies that to all the coaches below him and then they, they do a good job of portraying that to then all the, all the kids on the team. But um, I, I think the biggest thing we got this year is going to be the leadership continued. Uh, Coach Fuente hit a lot on it last year that the seniors were really, really good leaders on and off the field. So I definitely think the seniors this year, including myself, will be stepping up in that role. Oh, awesome. So, you know, at the spring game a couple weeks ago, you hit a 49-yard uh, field goal, and then you went and beat your own record and kicked, what, a 58-yarder? Yeah. And so how, how do you keep – what's your secret to, you know, keep pushing yourself, keeping your own records and, you know, the school records? Um, I'm like a perfectionist in a lot of the stuff <laughs> I do. So um, the continued work that I put in with both my kicking coaches and just by myself, uh, as well as along with um, Coach Sheba's pushing me on that aspect and a lot of my teammates also giving me the encouragement and, and the work ethic and stuff like that. Um, I'm just continually working and working. I don't, I'm not satisfied with what I'm at right now. So. Yeah, so you keep you keep going, keep, keep pushing going, yourself. For sure. <laughs> um, so, I mean, not only are you an incredible football player, but you're also an incredible human. Um, you know, you have devoted your entire college career to honoring your brother, AJ, who passed away a couple years ago. Um, so so how has, um, you know, his, his legacy impacted you on the field and off the field? Um, I really feel like I'm living for two people. Uh, and <clears throat> a lot of people say that, I mean, I should continue living by myself. And and try my best to live with him, but um, with me and my brother, how close we were, I can't let someone like that go away. And to go away physically, emotionally, and spiritually, I can't let that happen. So a lot of times I, I really try to work hard to make sure that the glimpses of, of any fame or any recognition that I might get, I really wanna to push towards him to make sure that he really gets a lot of it because, I mean, losing my brother was one of the hardest things for me. And so the motivation behind that is what really propels me to do a lot of the stuff I do. Yeah, I think that's incredible. And in that not only not only that, but you kind of, uh, the whole Hokie Nation seems to be totally on board with that and supporting you and him and, um, you know, the fight to, to end cancer. Yeah, that, that idea of Blue Prosum is, re is really deep within every Hokie, so. Yeah, so how how has how ha just having that support from the Hokie Nation and your teammates and coaches and just even hokey fans what what is that like for you uh it's kind of crazy just because of the fact that um i don't like to look at myself as like you know a, a high figure in society so to know that a lot of people will have my back and and will help me and in, in some of the stuff i want to do and even the fact that a lot of them never knew my brother and and the battle he went through they might be able to read about it but they never walked with him through it or even knew him before the battle so um, it's awesome just to be able to have them kind of embrace my brother, even though they never knew him, uh, just because of the fact that they embraced me. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. I mean, and speaking of that, I mean, your um, Help Joey Kick Cancer event was the first one and you guys put on, and it, it was such a success. I mean, how much did you guys raise from that? Uh, we raised over $6,000 wow. in donations, and then um, we also had over 350 people get swabbed for bone marrow transplant. So we're looking at uh, here in the first callback to see if we had a match in that group. but. Um, I mean, in that aspect, we did a lot of work um, with a lot of people on the third floor to make sure everything was set up right for the event. And uh, we we had an idea back in December to do the event just as a bone marrow swab and then have some other stuff just to be around and, and get all of Hokie Nation out at an event that's not a tailgate or even a football game. We want them to come around something that might be a good cause. And then I was nominated for the LLS Leukemia Lymphoma Society Man of the Year in December, and I took the nomination. And we've been campaigning since March 12th to May 20th. So um, I've just been fundraising money in honor of AJ and, and hope to to find a cure for LLS and, and any of those blood cancers, but also just raise awareness for it, continue my brother's legacy in that aspect. But um, yeah, it was uh, the first time, and we're looking at possibly doing it a second time. Um, more geared towards my brother's foundation, the Slash Strong Six Foundation. We'll fundraise money for that, but um, yeah, it might be something that we do as an annual event. Yeah, so. that's incredible. Appreciate um, it. And uh, so, how can how can people um, get involved in, in in the fight for cancer and you know get on the bone marrow list? Um, how how can how can they help? Um, with the bone marrow registry, uh, be the match is the organization. There's some there's an on campus on campus representative in that, and his name is Fisher Metcalf. Um, who I wore hand in hand with during this um, event on the this past Sunday. So 
Fisher is he had a friend that she passed away from a blood blood illness, so uh, it's really close to his heart as well. Um, so there's be the match on campus, and then there's also just the regular be the match uh, organization that you can go online and, and fill out the registration form. They can send you the swabs, and you can register that way, or um, just be on the lookout for wherever they do it. They might advertise it at specific events that they can do, but. Um, and then in an aspect of me helping me further with my campaign and, and the fight against cancer, we're looking at May 20th is the end of our campaign for LLS Man of the Year. So every dollar for me is a vote for the Man of the Year. Um, so that will end May 20th, but honestly the fight of cancer never stops. Um, and, and my brother's foundation still set up the Slash Strong Six Foundation, so um, we're working on doing, we have another golf tournament set up for the spring, or for the summer, and a lot of stuff we're doing with that. So um, that will continue forever. and and the fight against cancer will hopefully be ended soon. Um, but right now we are fundraising as much as we can just to end it. So. Exactly, and we all have to do our part. Yeah. Well, well, I'm sure all those are gonna go just great for you. Appreciate um, it. I know, I know you personally, I know that you are such an incredible guy. Thank and, you. Um, uh, I guess my last question is what's next? What's next for Joey Sly? Oh, uh, we got one more season. Uh, I'm gonna be graduating this fall, so I'm excited about that, but I'm excited to give Hokie Nation one last round and see what we can do as a team. So, excited. Good. Well, about we're it. ready for it. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joey.